Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. This week on Dateline Schools, we're continuing our summer series of looking at the organizations who help support the kids in our community. And the focus this week is on Sun, Save Our Neighborhoods and Streets. And we're talking with executive director and founder of the program, Tyrone Burrell. And, and Tyrone, yesterday you, you ended up the program of talking about establishing relationships and identifying the needs that these kids have that you work with. What, what are you seeing are some of the greatest needs that these kids have and what they're facing out there? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, the family, uh, particularly the absent father, uh, who could even be a father that's in the home but isn't paying attention, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse. Um, we know the statistics of uh, fatherlessness, you know, in our nation. Uh, so young people, you know, whether it's male or female, when dad's not home or dad's there not paying attention, that leaves a, a, a terrible vacuum. And uh, we don't try to be a replacement, but we definitely want to be a positive uh, connection that uh, young people have. And as we talked about our mission um, in a couple of other segments, that um, you know, the spiritual side of it, when kids don't have a biblical base these days, uh, or the examples before them, um, you need to do that. You need to do, there's discipleship that's, that needs to be done. There's mentoring that needs to be done and connections made that, um, uh, uh, that are lacking in young people's lives. So, Well, you've been in, in operations for 20 years plus, and you've had contact, as you said earlier, 1,500 kids a year. Well, what are some of your success stories? What, what kind of results are you seeing? Well, you know, success can be measured and looked at in different ways. When we first started, we said we didn't want a kid to go to Jackson or Milan and be in prison and say no one reached out to them. So by that second year, we had a basketball team in Jackson Prison. Mm -hmm. I, but you know what? Years have gone by. Some of those kids have got out. And when I see them, there's a sparkle of hope I see in their eyes. As we progress, we not only reach out to those kids, um, but the kid who has the potential to become a doctor, a journalist, a teacher, um, um, a military officer, uh, we didn't want them to have the excuse to say nobody reached out to me that I might accomplish my full potential. So we reach out to kids from the whole gamut, from the at risk and, you know, hey, if it's getting a gun out of a kid's hand, to the kid who has got all kind of potential but faces all kind of obstacles in helping him, you know, get into the doors of college and, and pursuing a career. So we've had some success stories. I, I look at a, a young man who, in the seventh grade, my wife said, why do you let our boy, who's in the seventh grade, hang out with him? Because it was just trouble. But he graduated, became an Army Ranger, and he's like a son to me. So we've seen the hope uh, that is real when you invest in kids, the change that it makes. So it's just like planting potatoes. You know, you put the time in it, and you will get your potatoes. More tomorrow for Dateline Schools. I'm Terry Harrington.